Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to make six panel and four panel doors. The four panel you're going to do exactly the same way that you'll do the six panel, so we won't go into detail with that. But you can either use matte board or you can use balsa wood with a combination of matte board. Okay, first thing you want to do is cut out your template to the size that you need for your door. And then you are going to cut the center of these out on a bevel so that they have like a little bit of an angle to them. Now you need a very sharp blade when you're doing this and it can be quite difficult at times. However, if anybody knows an easier way to cut the middle of the mat board out, please leave a comment below because this has um, some difficulty in getting it exactly precise. If you're not careful when you're cutting it, then it'll kind of go off the edge like this and that's not what you want now most of that you can fix with some paint and stuff when you're done but this is what you want the template for the door is actually on my Facebook page so you can download that if you want it now the other option is to do it with some balsa wood now this door is a work in progress and we glued it to the mat board all right, so we're gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so if you're gonna be doing the door out of the balsa wood, then you're gonna need to get yourself some balsa wood from your local craft store. I picked mine up at AC Moore. This is one quarter inch wide by a 16th inch thick. This is a 16th inch thick by a half inch wide and then this one is 1 16th inch thick by 3 inches wide. You'll have to cut this down to the size that you need it for the door. As you can see they're all relatively thin and when you cut them down you'll get a bunch of pieces that look like this. Okay, This template that I have here you can actually match your pieces up on there to make sure that you have the right size that you need once you have it cut out. Okay, These are going to be your center pieces. You're going to cut two of them each out of the balsa wood. You'll need two side panels and a middle panel. The middle panel is shorter than the side panels. The bottom panel is thicker than the top panel and then you need four for the middle. All right, and we'll show you how we're going to go ahead and put it together. We have some of it already started for you, and we're actually gluing this one to mat board as the center. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is glue your side onto the mat board, and then you're going to glue your top to the mat board and your bottom to the mat board. Okay, the next thing you need to determine is where you want your hinge to go. Okay, now we're not doing the standard hinges that look like this on this door. You can get these online or you can get them in your local craft or hobby store. They're very, very tiny hinges. They're probably about a quarter of an inch um, in length. So they're very, very small. Okay, after that, then you're going to want to determine how you're going to do the hinge. Now we've decided that we're going to do the duct tape hinge. That seems to be the easiest and the quickest and duct tape is very strong and durable so it's not going to fall apart. So you want to cut yourself a thin piece of duct tape just wide enough that you're going to be able to use as a hinge and then you're going to apply it. You can actually put some wax paper underneath of your door it's not going to stick as much as it would um, like paper or cardboard or whatever, but you still do want to not get it on there if at all possible because it does tend to stick a little bit. The hinge does not need to cover the entire door. It just needs to cover part of the door draw a line where your top and bottom panel meet. meet. So you can draw a line so you don't go past it with the duct tape. Okay. 
Okay. And also, don't pay attention to the grid lines on this door. We were going to cut that out and use it as a mat board door, then we changed our mind. So don't um, look at those as part of the tutorial because it's not anything to do with this. Okay, so once you have that on there, then you want to press it down in there pretty good onto the mat board or onto your balsa wood. You can use another piece of wood to kind of rub it on in so it gets nice and tight. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and install the left side of this door. Easier to put it on there, but I don't want to run into the tape. So use very, very little um, glue. You don't need a whole, whole lot for this part. Okay, now you just want to rub the thickness of it down so that it doesn't squeeze out all over the place when you're doing it. Make sure the top is even and the bottom is even. And I've got pencil and marks on there to correspond with the ones on the other side. So when you put the center boards in, it comes out even. There, and I will do the center. Same fashion. A little bit of glue. I can get my fingers to work. So it's just lightly dabbing a little bit of glue onto a stick and then putting it on to the center pieces. Usually one one dab in the middle and then you just smear it out a little bit. Because that white glue, surprisingly enough, it dries pretty fast or adheres pretty fast with this on this mat board. So you don't have a long time to fool with it. If your board starts popping back up after you have it on there, you can put one of these clamps on here. But I will caution you that you do need to um, be careful because the mat board is okay, but the balsa wood actually ends up denting very easy. So we just put a little bit of the extra mat board on there before we put these clamps on here. That way, if it dents anything, it dents the mat board, not the actual frame of the door. Okay, so he's going to put the next two center pieces on.
Okay, so once you have all your pieces on there, it should look kind of like this. Okay, now the other side, we have these pieces here, and I'm going to show you how to get this angle in the balsa wood while this part here dries and the rest of it sets. Okay, so I have a piece of balsa wood, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it close to the edge, and then I'm going to take a flat edge ruler, and I'm going to lay it right on the edge of it, trying to keep it even. Okay, I have to put pressure on it so it doesn't move. Now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, and I'm just going to score down the edge of it. If you don't have enough of an angle, you can move it back just a little bit. Put some pressure on it. And do it again. The balsa wood comes off very, very easily. But the key to getting an even edge is to keep this blade flush with what you're cutting on. I'm not sure if you can really see that beveled edge on camera or not, but the edge is beveled. You'll see it more so when we actually put the panels in. And I'll do the other side real quick, just so you can get more of an idea. perpendicular to the leg, you can see it. If you're doing this, be very cautious not to cut your fingers because the blade can slip off and get you. Okay, now to do the very bottom and top of these panels, you want to get yourself a blade that looks like this. Okay, and you're just going to lightly, on an angle, go like that. Okay, so then here it is with the angle. And when you get the angles all done, and on there, it should look like that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take the pieces that we just made and we'll glue them on. All right, so you want to put a little bit of glue on each one after you've cut them out to size. And then you're going to put them on accordingly. You have two for the bottom, two for the middle, and two for the top. Okay, so you put a little bit of glue and then you'll center it right in the panel. And this is the wrong one. <laughs> it's that one you had over there. No, well, you might want to glue the right one. Yeah, it might. <laughs> Alright, just use a little bit of glue. I wipe that glue off the And then dab it on there. enough to look like a door.
Just lightly remember, just a little bit of glue, not a whole lot. It don't take long to put it together after you get all the pieces cut. So if you cut them all ahead of time, then start your gluing process. I think this one could have been a little shorter. To just continue to glue them and once you have your very last one glued and you have it in place then you want to let everything dry for at least 20 minutes to let the glue set and everything and then you're going to want to paint it with a latex paint i'm using a bare paint with the paint and primer in it that way when i paint it the paint will fill in all of the cracks when you spray paint matte board, it does not turn out as nicely. See how it kind of looks all like icky looking? I don't like that at all. So we're not going to spray paint. We're going to use latex. Alright, so all the panels are glued on there. Now we'll go ahead and um, let sit for a bit and paint it. Yeah, get okay, so here's it. what the first coat of paint looks like. Give this some spots. Okay, so here it is with a second coat of paint on it. Okay, so now I'm going to take this thin piece of wood here and I'm going to put that down at the bottom so I can create my spacer. My door is completely painted. I have my duct tape side and then you notice I have this here. All right, so I'm going to make my door even just like that and I'm going to press that down along the edge. Now when I remove that, that's going to allow me to open and close my door. Okay, and then I'll replace the molding, and the molding will go back on there. Now, once the molding is glued, it'll open and close just like that. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Remember to put your little threshold down here to cover your carpet. And um, if you want, you can make the door a little bit longer or you can keep it with the air underneath of it. And then if you're using a duct tape, I didn't have the white duct tape, but you may want to use the white duct tape if you have white 
so that you don't see it, but I'll just paint that little edge right there and then you won't even notice it. But that's it. Okay, now for the doorknobs, all I did was use matte pens, and there's a tutorial on how to spray them and seal them so that you can um, do that if you want to do that. You can paint inside where the duct tape is if you didn't have white duct tape.